it is Soul Sarah, and we're back with Back to the Future, the game, episode three, which is called Citizen Brown. So we're going to jump right in, hit new game, and let's go. Before we begin, would you like to see notifications? Yeah, whatever. Yes, show the goals. I think that's how we've been doing it the entire time. So might as well keep doing it. So in the last part, Edna prevented Doc from going to see Frankenstein. And we crash into a messed up future where Doc never went to see Frankenstein. And probably never became a scientist. Hill Valley, South Gate. She's pretty into her music. Du, du, du. Back to the future. The game. Forgive this, guys. I'm going to turn the volume up. For my enjoyment, as well as yours, maybe. Episode 3, Citizen Brown. Relax. We have everything under control. First Citizen Brown. Art director, Derek Sakai. Oh, Marty, are you okay? You've kind of broke their sign. They're not going to like that. Not to mention you have a time-traveling car, which is kind of a paradox in its own. Like, if Doc never became a scientist, how can your flying space car exist? This girl, she just doesn't notice anything at all. It's kind of brilliant. <laughs> I don't know about that. Escape from the crashed time machine. Uh, wreck DeLorean. Don't worry, everybody. I'm okay. The billboard broke my fall. The billboard broke my fall. Um, should we somehow turn on... Oh, no, 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 no. Um, go back. Exit. Sorry, that wasn't what I wanted. Um, goal... I wanted to turn... Get out of this death trap. ...on the subtitles. Window. This is the dumbest design ever. I thought it was pretty nifty design. What could we use? We have a horn. She's not gonna hear us. What the hell? Hey, would you give me a... Jennifer? Whoopsie! He magically also has this picture of his girlfriend, which I don't remember being in our inventory before. Uh, should we try talking to her? We're gonna ruin things, but we're already in a messed up line. Some help. Martin, it is you. Is that a DeLorean? Yes, it's a DeLorean. Uh, well, yeah, it's a DeLorean. What else would it be? How the hell did it get into the billboard like that? Never mind that. Just give me a hand, okay? I like her attitude. Oh, man. So who are you supposed to be? Luke or Bo? This isn't funny, Jennifer. What are you doing? Help me down. Can you help me down? Why don't you just jump? I'll break my neck. And? And she don't really care. Call for help? Call someone? A tow truck, maybe. Get real. I'm in enough trouble already. I'm not going to explain your DeLorean violating a billboard to anyone. Okay, help me with the door. The door's jammed. Can you get it open? I can't reach it. Besides, I'm not climbing under the car. It could come down on my head. She's very practical. I like that. You got any rope you could toss me? Uh-uh. All I have is this rusty wrench thing I found in the dirt. Tire iron. I think that'll do. Toss it here. Oh, back off, Martin. This is my whatchamacallit. What do you give me for it? This is my whatchamacallit. Uh, what's the date? Oh, man. What's the date? What? That's something I should be asking you. You've probably wrecked your head. Just, what's the date, Jennifer? It's the 15th. Year. 1986. Hmm. Oh, man. Oh, man. This can't be happening. What are you doing? What are you doing down there? 
Not that you'd ever understand it, but I'm doing my part to support the arts in Hill Valley. Anyway, what's the technical term for attempting to jump your DeLorean through a billboard? Where did you even get a DeLorean? Is it stolen? That's a little complicated. <laughs> You've changed. You look so different. That's the general idea of being a nonconformist. That's not what I meant. Oh, nonconformist. What are you getting at? Um, never mind. Never mind. I gotta get out of this car. Good idea. May I have the tire iron? Please have the tire iron. The tire who? The big metal thing you're holding. Oh, right. As soon as you offer up a decent tray. Oh. What is with these people? Jennifer, please. This is Seriously, serious. Seriously, give me the tire. This thing really has some value to you, huh? At the moment, yes. And it better be a pretty good trade. I really don't like her. I'm tired of you. Go away. All right. Let me think this through. Don't strain your brain, Geekzilla. Geekzilla? How am I a geek? Um, exit the billboard. Brown. That's Doc, all right, but what's going on here? Yeah. What's going on? Okay, we looked at the billboard. Wrecked DeLorean billboard. Jennifer. I gotta get out of this death trap. Window door. <laughs> it's jammed. Uh, anything else we could click on? Horn. <laughs> door, horn. Do you have anything? Mm, window. It's open. I know it's already open. Jennifer! What? You've changed. Jennifer, you look so different. That's, That's the, the general, general idea of being a nonconformist. Non That's not what I meant. Okay, okay. What are you getting at? Your hair is different. What did you do to your hair? Helter Skelter. What? It's the same hair dye I always use. Your attitude is different. Attitude? I'm not having this argument again. You've argued about this before? I'm guessing you won the argument. Your clothes are different. What are you wearing, Jen? You look so... Fed up? Keen eye you got there. Just give me the tire and we can have an end to this. The whole world aliens the likes of you, Dork. Never mind. Never mind. I gotta get out of this car. Good idea. The iron. Ooh, kiddo. All right. Let me think this through. Do Don't we have brain, anything Lisa. in our inventory? Inventory. Prom photo of Marty and Jennifer. Um, the whiskey thing. Carl Sagan escapes. I better not. This could be the only printing left in existence. I gotta get out of this death trap. Uh, I'm trying. What could help us? Examine? I don't need to read this anymore. I lived it. I lived it. Hill Valley crime rate at all-time low. Jail cells bring... Hill Valley crime at all-time low. No joke. <laughs> we could try this. Let's give her this. Irving Kid Tannen. Use item. Jennifer. Jennifer. This is all I got. Is there anything in it? Give it here. Ugh. Smells like armpits and boobs. Irving Kid Tannen, the gangster? Where the hell did you get this? It's a long story. Can I just have the tire iron now? Yeah, nailed it. Is she going to give it to me? She's just going to throw it. Thanks. Those things are heavy. I don't think you can actually do that. Now what? Oops. Broke the window. Oh.
Should you take that with you? I don't know if that's a good idea, Marty. Yay, we made it in the car! My debt to society is paid. As for you, good luck with your car. Way to stick it to big brother. Just don't expect your sudden cry for attention to change anything between us, dig? It doesn't change what? Look, Jennifer, I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift into town. Oh, sure, Martin. Climb on in. Jennifer, She's so mean. We're through, McFly. I'll never take such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square. <laughs> Jesus, could this get any worse? Yeah, it can. What are you gonna do? Catch it? It's gonna explode. Oh dear. What kind of a weird thing has happened to Hill Valley? What? He kicked the tire and like passed out? Or he just Stop fell that. down? You really use your help right about now. I don't think you have everything under control. Um. Right. Get yourself over the wall and into Hill Valley. These walls couldn't possibly go around the entire city, could they? They could, and I believe they do. The wheel. Well, at least one of the hover wheels work. Ooh, do we have that tire iron? Is it? Yeah. Let's get that, and we're going to use it, and we're going to take off the hover wheel. Okay, good. This could be useful. Think, Marty, think. Does it still hover on its own? Now that it's off the car, it looks like hmm. the power cables for the hover system have disconnected. So we need power. Wrecked DeLorean. <laughs> du, 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 du. May 15th, 1986. Yeah, the, the date's right, but... That's not good. Ooh. Man, this is the second time I've completely destroyed Doc's time machine. I just shouldn't be allowed to drive it anymore. That's right, Marty, that's right. But if Doc had been driving it... Off, I hope there's something salvageable here. He's gonna maybe lose it. Can I move? Oh, he can move. Okay. Mr. Fusion! I really feel qualified to repair a nuclear reactor. It's still under warranty. Well, I guess technically it's way under warranty. Hmm. What's this? A battery! There you go! Look at that. Useful things falling off the DeLorean all oh, the time. Wait, this is the car battery? It must have been installed in 2015 with the Mr. Fusion. Still has plenty of juice. Yeah, excellent. Okay, let's take. go back over here. Go to the wheel, Marty. Go to the wheel. I forgot to start my timer, guys, now so I'm just going to do that right now. Looks like the power cables for the hover system have disconnected. So we need to grab the battery from the inventory. Yeah. Um, use the item on the wheel. Let's see here. Red to positive, black to negative. You're so clever, Marty. You should hold on to that. Bye-bye, oh. oh. hover wheel. Far out. Well, okay, Doc. Let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Well, technically, wouldn't his notebook also be blank? Dun-dun-dun-dun! Okay, guys, so we've solved two problems so far, and now we're going into Hill Valley. Okay, Marty. Nothing to be afraid of. It's just an alternate Hill Valley that's turned my girlfriend into a punk rock vandal. That doesn't punk mean rock it's vandal? Apocalyptic biker gangs run by armies of biff clubs. Just take a deep breath and remember, you gotta find Doc. I don't know if you want to find Doc. I mean, he seems to be part of the problem. You don't match everyone else's. You could be a citizen plus. Hill Valley Bureau of Discipline. Whoa. Unity. What's happened to Hill Valley?
Oh, Marty. I think you need a change of clothes. Soup mo. What have Doc and Edna done so, to Hill Valley? So clean. Good morning, citizen. Good morning to you too, citizen. Hmm. Is it a statue of Edna and Doc and Einstein? No, well, she would have gotten rid of Einstein. Or we had Einstein, or did we? Edna? What's going on here, Doc? Hmm. Oh, we've been spotted by the camera. Oh, dear. Oh, it's Einstein statues on the clock. That's so cute. Jeez, my Hill Valley never looked this good. <laughs> hey, watch where you're going, citizen. Sorry. Uh, uh, Mr. Parker. That's Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now, what's with the outfit? I, uh, it's Thursday. Yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. You're out of uniform. That's a violation of Civic uh, Ordinance oh, 9 Oh, I knew we were and dressed wrong. not wearing an ID. In direct violation of Ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? Oh, little shirt. Are you on the pot, citizen? Put your arms up. Spread your legs. Hey, what are you doing? Quiet. Hold still. He didn't Stop. find the book. What's your deal today, McFly? That book is hidden in our very big, big pocket. Very, very big pocket. What happened to Jennifer? Since when are you a cop? Um... Where can I find Citizen Brown? Uh, can you tell me where I can find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown? Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? At work. Uh, That's right. Working at the courthouse. The courthouse? The very, very lovely courthouse. Which seems locked. Heavy. Um, what's with the pat down? Hey, what's with the pat down? What do you think, I'm packing heat? Heat. Contraband. Contraband? Oh. Booze, you know, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, circus bubble peanuts. Illegal. Bubble gum and dogs. You're smart enough to know that ignorance of the Civic Ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. Uh-oh. What happened to Jennifer? Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. Demerits for her art. Since when are you a cop? Are you a cop? I thought you were a shoe salesman. Do you own something? I've always been a cop. I've Just always been a part. cop. Great. I've turned my girlfriend's dad into a cop. Um, let's leave him alone. Thank you. I finish my beat. Are you gonna make trouble for me today? No. Oh, happy kitty no, in my what? lap. No, oh, sir. That's right, citizen. No, sir. That's right, citizen. Explore the brave new Hill Valley. Find Doc. Self-tour. Oh, wait, citizen. Are you about to throw something away? Make sure you use the correct receptacle. Hill Valley the takes correct pride receptacle? in its diverse waste management system. What is the aluminum content of that can? Make sure it goes into the correct blue receptacle. Is that green, clear, or amber glass? It makes a difference. Oh my Remember goodness. that all consumable wrapping is tagged with a microchip to help us automatically police litter. They're policing litter? Ministry of Tourism. Should we go look at this thing? Self tour. You are standing in front of the Hill Valley Courthouse. The original courthouse uh -huh. built in 1885. Look, it's Einstein on the roof. 20 years after Hill oh, Valley Einstein statues. Into the state of California. Though it's so cute. The courthouse holds the seat of the local government. It also has been used as a shelter during the recovery period following the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. Interesting. Most of Hill Valley's community is a result of displaced San Franciscans. Planting roots after hmm. that disaster. In 
1976, the downtown renovation project saw very nice. the major additions made to the courthouse since its original construction. The courthouse was expanded with an additional 128 offices in the new wow. wing, and a new mayoral office added to the original clock tower space. Look closely, and you can still see some of the original courthouse's details preserved in the new international-inspired facade. I love that Einstein's part of it. Okay, well, I don't know if I want to go there yet. So we're just going to keep walking. Do, 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 What's in here? Ministry of Tourism. Ministry of Tourism. I can't see why people would want vacation here. Right? I, I'm with you, Marty. Um, we want to go this way. What's this one? Can I not look at it? Okay. The Comb Forest. Formist. Comb Formist. Your stylists always have such clever names. Just like coffee shops. Just like coffee shops. Tell it like it is, Marty. What's this one? E. Brown Industries. Established in 1945 is the technological enterprise that makes Hill Valley what it is today. Whether it is electric cars running off the city power grid or motion-sensing fence deployment, the radical civil innovation hmm. and development in E. Brown Industries are changing the way cities operate. Efficient pedestrian travel vigilant citizen monitoring, and space-age technologies that preserve the clean and modern appearance of the city. I don't know if I like this new Hill Valley. ...are not only making Hill Valley a wonder of the modern civilization. E. Brown Industries also exports its ideas and technology to cities around the world. One such city is Singapore, soon to be recognized. Is our international sister city. So you're making more cities like you? How do I get to the menu, guys? I want to put the subtitles on. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, settings, subtitles. Okay, let's go back. Uh, return to game. Can we go into E Brown Industries? Citizen reading room. Citizen reading room. I guess there's one in every town. I don't have a citizen reading room. Unless it means a library. Is that a library? Stemless staycations. Stemless staycations. What the heck is a staycation? Oh, is that like where instead of leaving, you stay? Can oh, wait. Can we click on this? Camera? No. All citizens bank. All citizens bank. Oh, apparently that's the end of the line. Okay, well, let's try going this way. Oh, running works. Soup mo. Oh, this is the soup kitchen. You could be a citizen plus. Sign. Soups and more. Wholesome soups, fresh vegetables, and soy-based imitation meats. Oh. Sounds yeah, delicious. What's the sign say? Window. Out to lunch. Hey, can't you read? Oh, it's you, McFly. Leech? Hey, my bad. I should have wrote the sign in Latin, just so you'd understand. What sign? Outway to Unchle. Now eat it, bay, and let me catch some Z's. <laughs> Who's leech? Free say dog samples. Take Free one. Free soy dog samples. Take oh, one. soy dogs. I guess they ran out. Okay, so that's the soup kitchen. Do do. Oh, a sign. Self tour. Remember to keep your name badge on at all times. Not only does it make every oh my name badge like your neighbor and friend, it grants you passage at the three main city access points. Hill Valley is the country's first fully incorporated gated city. Gated In city. In 1966, Hill Valley petitioned for a special regional exemption from state legislation.
legislation using a tax of property law. Uh. The city of Hill Valley managed to consolidate itself into a gated community with special allowances for business and residential zoning. Interesting. Date, we are the safest and most self-sustaining city in the United States. I don't know if I like that. What's this machine? I want to play with it, but it won't let me. Can I not go this direction any farther? Okay, that's as far as we can go. Do, 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 do. Let's go in the park. Um, how do I get in the park? Oh, there we go. This looks like a self-tour thing. Please don't be the garbage cans Look again. Around yourself. Breathe in the fresh air. Enjoy the immaculate scenery and architecture. Mm -hmm. You are standing among the denizens of the most sociologically advanced city in the world. Hill Valley, a perfect place to live. Do you Let's believe your own propaganda? Look up at the city centerpiece, the courthouse, with its ornate clock tower. Is that supposed to be dark and like... A silhouette behind the clock. That's our beloved first citizen, Emmett L. Brown. Toiling away on new ideas to make Hill Valley the city of tomorrow. Interesting. Today. To make the city of tomorrow today. Citizen, Citizen Plus, Plus program. I want to read the brochure, Marty. Citizen Plus. I guess we can't read the brochure. Let's listen to this thing about the statue. First Citizen Brown, the mind head of Hill Valley, mm. a man of infinite wisdom and awe. So I guess that's Brown, yeah. Imagination. Emmett Lathrop Brown had been raised by a family legacy steeped in law, but hadn't set his sights on his destiny until he single-handedly thwarted the nefarious gangster Irving. Kid. Oh my god, is that Irving Kid Tannen? After this heroic event immortalized by the grand statue on the courthouse lawn. He did it single handedly, did he? Devoted his life to civil and social. I think he had some help. Using Hill Valley as a prototype for tomorrow's cities today. Einstein! I want to go play with the Einstein statues. Squawk box. What's the problem, citizen? Oops, wrong number. Oops, wrong number. Okay, let's go this way. Right, so we explored the thing. Is that what we're supposed to be doing? Explore this brave new hill valley. Find Doc. Doc's got to be at the courthouse, so let's go to the courthouse. Do, 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 do. Gate. Gates? Oh, these are new. Uh, go look here. I don't the think we original that one. clock tower was dedicated in 1885, when the motion mm -hmm. first started at 8 p.m. on September 5th that same year. The clock tower was once struck Ooh. by a bolt of lightning on November 12th, 1955, damaging the clock motion beyond conventional repair. During the downtown renovation project of 1976, the damaged clock was dismantled and a new modern clock was installed as the window to the mayoral office. Look up! You just might catch a silhouette pacing behind the glass. That's First Citizen Brown, pondering how to make your future better. Okay, well how do we get in to meet First Citizen Brown? I guess we have to talk to dude. Officer Parker. Where can I, I find Citizen Brown? Where I find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown. Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? Okay, can I go meet him? That's right. Working at the courthouse. Which is behind you. So how do I get in? The squawk box. Okay. Let's go. Okay, thank you. Go away. I've got to finish my beat. Are you going to make trouble for me today? I never make no. trouble. No what? No, no sir. sir. That's right, citizen. To think I helped your grandfather stop being a drunkard. Ugh, let's play with the buzzer. Hill Valley Courthouse. How may I help you, citizen? I need to see Doc, or uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? No, but 
then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. Hmm. Voice sounds familiar. It's Edna. I bet you it's Edna. Oh, is that him? Brown. Biff? Oh. There's Citizen Brown. They're up to something. Wait, I need to talk to you. Hmm. Should we go find Biff? Oh, I don't want to run here. I want to go to Biff. Okay, we can't get to Biff this way. Biff must be in the park. Oh my gosh, just directions, guys. Can we find Biff? I'm going to go this way. Go this way. Can't leave the path. Stay on the grass. Oh, there's Biff. Okay, got Biff. Biff? Hey, you're, you're George and Lorraine's youngest. Martin, right? What? You don't know me? Only by reputation. Brown Cadet of the Month, three months running. Impressive. Are you interested in the Citizen Plus program? Yeah. What's Citizen Plus? What is this Citizen Plus? It's Citizen Brown's new re-education program, and I'm the first of Hill Valley Citizen Plus. Uh, pluses. <laughs> Plus side? Plus Re-education program? What the hell? Please don't swear, Martha. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Please don't Plus swear, Martin. It makes me uncomfortable. Something. What do you mean? I'm wearing what everyone's wearing. It's Polo Shirt Thursday. You, my friend, are out of uniform. So I've heard. Yeah, well, there's always tomorrow. Hawaiian Shirt Friday. Great. Was that Doc? Listen, Biff, that car I saw you get out of, was that Doc Brown in there with you? Ah, Doc. That should be his new nickname. But yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational mm. guy. How'd you get FaceTime with him? He seems so busy. You got that right, Martin. Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. But fortunately, uh, unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad oh. actor. A real butthead. Oh, you a butthead? You a butthead? No. What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. Too much <laughs> trouble. What with the booze, the partying, the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. Pack, get it? Uh, yeah. Well, what does this have to do with Citizen Brown? Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen Plus or Bust. Bust? Tell me more about your sordid past. So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, I really don't like dredging up the past. But, all right, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus... Tell me about the illegal substances. About yeah, Beer, tell me everything. Rum, whiskey, wine coolers, you name it, I drank it. Not only did I drink it, I smuggled it oh, into Hill Valley. Oh, you were smuggling too. into Hill Valley. Hill block, huh? Used to be I'd knock your block off for a comment like that. But yeah, I guess I was following in Pop's crummy footsteps. Oops. Okay, so there's no booze in Hill Valley? There's no booze in Hill Valley. Sure, someone tries to sneak some in every now and then, but cops like Officer Parker over there mm -hmm, always catch mm -hmm. him sooner or later. Okay, so tell me about the vicious Why'd your dogs. dogs. Get you in trouble. You weren't running dog fights, were you? No, nothing that bad. I just used to have a lot of dogs. What's wrong with that? Nothing other than them keeping the neighbors up all night, lunging at old people, and eating all the squirrels in the park. And I'm to say, it was my out-of-control dogs that were directly responsible for the banning of dogs throughout Hill Valley. You don't sound wow. very ashamed. Oh, I am. Very, very ashamed. Oh, Biff. So there are no more dogs? There's no dogs in Hill Valley anymore? Yep. Citizen Edna says they carry diseases and steal shoes. 
Citizen Edna. What kind of trouble did you get into with women? They weren't hookers? No, no, nothing like that. It's just that I wasn't always discreet about my affections. What? Public displays of affection, Martin. You know, necking and such. That's illegal? Oh, yeah. Wow, no public displays of affection. For PDAs? You bet. The Browns always wow, say guys. That behaviors that excite your privates should be kept in private. Or maybe it's just Citizen Edna who says that. Oh dear. Alrighty, guys. I've heard enough. Yeah, let's let's change the subject. Thanks. I don't like talking about my old nasty self. Oh, poor Biff. Why don't you like talking about your past? Um, do I have a shot at seeing Citizen Brown? Do you think I'd get to see Citizen Brown if I did all the bad stuff you used to do? I guess, but why would you want to act like that? Okay, um, tell me more about Citizen Plus. I want to know more about Citizen Plus. And I just can't wait to tell you all about it. Did I mention the swell digital watch you get with the program? Wow, tell me about the watch. You said you get some sort of watch. Oh, it's a real classy deal. Just look at this state-of-the-art ticker. It's got all sorts of special modes programmed in. I still haven't figured out how to set the time, but I'm sure a smart guy like you could do it no problem. I bet you it's not a watch. What does the program do? What's the point of Citizen Plus? Well, it may not be as noticeable for an upstanding citizen mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. yourself, but the hypnotherapy sessions hypnotherapy? help the to break the rules. Oh, whoa. Hypnotherapy? I'm with you, Marty. Why, it makes obedience automatic. Obedience? Some kind of brainwashing? That's a good way to think about it. <laughs> right out of your oh dear, that's not quite what we meant. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's all the time we have for this part. It might be a little bit long. Sorry about that. But if you enjoyed it, please remember to hit the great big like button down below. Give me some comments as well um, down below. Or you can give me a shout out on Twitter at TheDreamerSues. And make sure you subscribe and be notified when I make new content. In the meantime, guys, take care. Stay happy. I love you all. And I'll see you all in the next video where we'll find out more about the brainwashing of Hill Valley. Bye-bye.